Hello everyone! We all know classic tomato gazpacho, right? But did you ever try to make strawberry gazpacho at home? If your answer is no, this video is for you. Because I'm gonna show you how you can make this delicious strawberry gazpacho with basil, almonds and croutons at home. So let's do it! And let's start with the soup. The first thing I will need is cucumber. So I'm gonna peel it. Cut it into the quarters, take out the seeds, chop it roughly and put it inside a mixing bowl. I'm gonna leave exact amounts in the description below so you can check it out. Next thing I need are red bell peppers. So I'm gonna take out the seeds, chop it roughly and mix it with the cucumber. And of course we are doing strawberry gazpacho, so I'm gonna need some strawberries. I chop them in the half and mix them with the vegetables. I'm gonna also slice one clove of garlic. And now it's time to put my bucket in. I'm gonna cut out the crust and dice it. The bucket helps you with better texture of your soup. Now I'm gonna pick few leaves of fresh basil. Put them in and I'm gonna season everything with tomato juice, olive oil, salt, pepper and red white vinegar. And of course I'm gonna leave my recipe in the description but you can always adjust it by your taste. You can put some sugar, more or less vinegar, more strawberries or even some chili inside. It's up to you. And now I can mix everything together, cover it with clean film and I'm gonna leave it inside the fridge overnight to marinate. The strawberries with vegetables been marinating inside the fridge for around 12 hours and now it's time to blitz them. So I transfer it inside the blender and I'm gonna give it at least 3 minutes. And if you start your blender and nothing is going on, like in my case, don't put water in the first place. Try to push it down, because otherwise you end up with too runny soup. And you see, everything is blitzing nicely, even without any water. You wanna put water only at the end, if you see your soup is still too thick. And now let's taste it. And that's delicious. I'm gonna put probably a little bit more salt and let's pass it through Shinoa. And remember, this soup you wanna always eat cold. And strawberry gazpacho is done. I'm gonna keep it inside the fridge and let's finish the rest. For my garnish, I wanna do confit strawberries. So I cut few of them in the half. Put them inside a mixing bowl and mix them with a little bit of olive oil. Then I put them on the baking tray, cut side down and I'm gonna season it with a little bit of sugar. And I bake them around 90 degrees Celsius for one hour. In the meantime, I prepare my almonds. I have only these ones with skin side on, so I have to peel them. So I put them inside the boiling water for 30 seconds and then I move them fast inside the cold water and leave them to cool down. And at this stage it's very easy to peel them. Now I'm gonna cut them in the half and I wanna roast them inside the oven. Some of them are already halved and the rest I finish with a knife. So I put them on the tray, but before I put them inside the oven, I have to take out the strawberries. So the strawberries are cooked enough. They are nice and soft. So I'm gonna leave them on the side to cool down and I'm gonna change temperature of my oven 
to 180 degrees Celsius and I'm gonna bake my almonds. And the last thing I need are the croutons. So I'm gonna use this half baguette which I have left and I'm gonna cut nice dices. First, I'm gonna cut few slices of the baguette, then cut bigger sticks and then dices. And guys, if you enjoying Trui's recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you still not subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below. So you never gonna miss any of my new video because on this channel, I gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. So the almonds are ready as well. So I'm gonna leave them to cool down on the side as well. And let's finish the croutons. I start with a little bit of olive oil inside the pan, set up my stove on medium heat and then put my croutons in. I mix them a little bit and season them with salt, pepper and fresh thyme. And when they get crispy and get a little bit of color, I take them out of the heat and leave them to cool down. And at this time, I have everything ready, so let's do the plating. I put my gazpacho on the plate and make it nice and flat. Then I put a little bit of the green oil on the top. If you wanna learn how to do it, check out my older video. Then I'm gonna season it with freshly ground black pepper. And now I can put my confit strawberries. Next are coming my roasted almonds. Then my super crispy croutons with the thyme. And I'm gonna finish it with small leaves of basil. So what do you think guys? Do you gonna try to make it at home? Let me know in the comments. And if you will cook any of my dishes, make a picture, post it on the Instagram, tag me there and I will give you feedback on it. And if you would like to learn from me personally, you can apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching on my website, chefmark.com, and we can work together on your cooking skills. And that's everything for today. Thank you for watching, and I see you soon.